Have you ever thought that we artists are some awkward human beings who do not understand themselves, will not be understood by others, and think they are crazy and definitely not average? But in this video I would like to convince you that it's definitely not always the case. So let's start. Procrastination. Every artist and human being has experienced this state. It's like I have ideas, I have different plans, energy, but I procrastinate this task. And uh, we artists do it the same way, because it's not uh, the way we always say like, oh yeah, I have always inspiration and I'm so uh, overproductive. But it's not the case. Um, we procrastinate because of uh, lack of inspiration, our fear of failure and because of the pressure from the outside that our works have uh, to become some masterpieces hanging in the museums. And so this feeling gives us uh, such pressure and uh, inner tension that we are not good enough. We ignore our main task, actually drawing, because we try to sharpen our pencils or clean our studio, photograph the paintings. And as we know, coming into the artistic flow takes its time and usually you need some longer periods of time in order to achieve this flow. That means you need this longer period of concentration and the easiest and the most effective way you can achieve this flow is only by doing and only when you grab your materials and start some new piece. It can be some small sketch, it can be uh, some bigger painting, uh, not uh, a masterpiece, yeah? you don't uh, have to put some extra pressure on you. But considering uh, the procrastination is a way you start this process, we can see this also in the thoughts from Jerry Zaltz in his book How to be an Artist. Um, and here uh, he writes that all the things you do are part of your work. And so even when you seem to be going nowhere, things are happening because your life is always a part of your work. And so when you um, clean your studio and it helps you uh, to come into the flow and to be inspired by your new materials, for instance, uh, or uh, some old materials, which are <laughs> inspirational enough, it can be also your way to do this. No inspiration, uh, the main topic in the artistic journey. Our workflow is uh, not possible to plan. We stay spontaneously in the middle of night and start to do some new sketches or we cannot uh, fall asleep because we are thinking about new works. There are days when uh, we procrastinate and we postpone painting. Um, and uh, the whole journey of mine and of yours, uh, of course, is like a carousel with its ups and downs, with ups and downs. And um, this um, state of not being consistent emotionally and also productively uh, leads to uh, burnout. We confront us with the outside world, with other painters uh, who have some successes, some new exhibitions, and um, this success of others puts a pressure on us that we uh, also have to do nothing, of course. On the other hand, we have oversaturation of our ideas and we have some periods when we do not feel any inspiration at all and so we desperately search some new ideas. We have not end our paintings because oh, we have uh, a fear of making them 
bad because the best pictures are the one we do not overthink and um, we have to follow our flow and let the inner voice lead us on my artistic way sometimes i was drawing one concrete motif for several times and each time i was not um, proud of the result because uh, it was not nearly the same uh, what i have seen this leads us to the fifth point that we feel some insufficiency that we are always not good enough in comparison to other creators of course uh, but also to the subjects we are inspired of i always feel this sense of insufficiency compared to my ideal vision or to the inspirational source it uh, does not correlate but it differs and it differs hardly but on the other hand um, this feeling of insufficiency is something uh, what leads us and what gives us a thrive to go forward trying over and over again and chasing this inner ideal is actually uh, what a whole artistic path is about because the main task of us is to admire uh, like Van Gogh said admire more because most people don't admire enough but by admiring we have to never stop drawing and going forward and believe in us uh, and believe that one day we will meet this ideal in front of our face on our canvas or uh, on our paper and this ideal will be here only for a few seconds and in a few seconds you will be desperate searching and going forward and your journey will be continued that's the point why we reuse the broken paintings or repaint our paintings we consider our art not to be perfect some masterpieces come into the world very accidental for example the paint i left on the palette uh, the next day will be used for some other things like a background it can accidentally comes into the mind that oh actually this background does not look so bad and so it turns into the painting and some of them will be overthought by us and the pieces we do not overthink have not a long life in front of them because we will definitely repaint them. We thrive our art to be admired uh, because every painting of us, also the one we draw spontaneously or it was accidentally, um, is like our child. Um, it contains our soul and energy and uh, we treat it like a treasure and uh, like masterpiece for us and we expect our viewers to treat it in the same way the lack of admiration of our art hurts us a lot to come to the end of this video i would like to present you the last point in our artistic life which will not be understood by others but will be understood by painters and uh, it relates to the romanticization of an art life. You can see this illusion everywhere on the internet saying that uh, being an artist is a dream life. You are always doing what you love and you surround yourself with inspiration and it's only fun because it's your hobby. Because it's fun and, and amazing, you have always to be to be amazed, to be happy uh, and to be excited about it. But it's definitely an illusion and uh, this romanticization of our artistic journey is really tough because we spend hours by searching for new ideas, 
by creating them, by filming them, uh, for instance. Um, and the worst thing in this process is that uh, when we created some piece of us, we can not admire it enough because we have this strive to go forward and to turn all the ideas we have in our head into real pieces and it's not only always a fun and I want the others to understand this because it's a work like the other work and we do not have to underestimate it or to romanticize this process. My friends, if you can relate to it, it's okay to feel this way because we artists are awkward but we are all human beings and we have feelings, we have stress and burnouts and it's normal. So write me in the comments below uh, what you think on this topic and see you soon. Bye!